Hi, Rich Schleifer here in Lewiston, Idaho again. This time I'm heading out to Neva's retirement home to do another paranormal investigation. We were lucky enough to get this place to do for the night. I know we did it last year in the last show, but sometimes it's always good to go back out to a place you've been to and do a follow-up investigation. See if there's anything new that can be caught. And I figured since I'm in town, might as well do it. So let's head on out to Nevis Retirement Home and see what we can find this time around. Here we are at Neva's Retirement Home. We have the opportunity to do another investigation here, kind of like what we did last year. There's gonna probably be another couple investigators joining us here tonight, as well as some of the employees that work here during the haunted house events, you know, the nightmare on Corel. So let's go ahead and interview these people here, see what's been going on since we've investigated this place last and see if there's any new activity, anything like that that's been going on here. So what did you think of the investigation that we did last August? I thought it was great. It was it was really um, a learning experience for me to work with other teams. Um, we took a lot from it. A lot of we learned a lot of things that we were doing wrong. <laughs> so, um, but I thought it was great to have. Uh, we had more people to compare our notes with. Um, uh, we were able to. We thought we caught one thing on a camera, but somebody else's recorder was there, so we were able to eliminate some things and also verify some things. So it was it was really good. It was a good investigation. We've been out at least three times since then. So um, each time we find something new. Uh, the last time that we were here was about a month ago, and Grace and I had come out earlier uh, to set up, and because we had been out so long, we weren't sure if it needed to if anybody was in it or. So we came out, we walked through, did our EVP sweep, and noticed that the downstairs basement, there's a, there's like a locker downstairs that, that was shut. And all of the doors to the rooms upstairs were open. And when we came back, there were two doors on the upstairs that were shut, and the basement one was open. So it was, and nobody else had been in here. So we weren't sure what had happened with that possibly wind, but that wouldn't explain the basement one because there's no window in that part of the building. I am the historian for Slash. I do um, all the research that I can to grasp the history, former occupants of a space or a place that we would like to hunt. It makes it very convenient, very nice to maybe relate with an entity if it exists. What are some of the uh, personal experiences that you've had here at Nevis? Mm, Danny. We found a little girl, Danny. There was uh, we were hunting with a KLEW um, crew and. We found Danny. She was a little girl, and it was probably one of the most vivid, most firm reactions that we have ever received from an entity. My next favorite would be the gentleman in the upstairs. We, I personally do believe that he irritates Danny, and it's been a lot of fun getting to know them. What did you think of the investigation that we did last year? I really liked it. It was very professional and I think you guys did a good job in questioning things about whether it was this or that instead of just saying, oh, it's a ghost. And have you had any other investigations here since? Um, Corey, me, and Alexis would still come. You know, we worked here for the haunted house, so we would always, every night when we were here, stay late and do our own investigations. and. We catch noises and certain voices. A lot of times you couldn't quite make out what they would say. It died down. It was like as busier as it got, especially during our feature thing. We did one after the haunt. Everything kind of went quieter. And one of our ladies I would walk behind the crowds did say that she had her own experience walking down what we call the first hallway about somebody walking behind her. She said she believed it was a man because of the way he 
was breathing or something, kind of had a raspiness to it. She said she felt him touch her on her shoulder. We have, in our own investigations, have had the voices of a raspy, kind of older, I'm guessing, late 60s, early 70s man. So that was kind of interesting, and we tried to recreate it or go down or do some more investigation after that, but we didn't get anything. I am a uh, site designer, crop designer, and also an actor. Have you had any personal experiences here with any of the uh, paranormal activity that's been going on? Uh, yes, I have. Um, I actually had an experience by cold spots that happened just down uh, the second hall. And uh, it was a very interesting experience. But it just kind of shocked me. We had cold spots. We had uh, voices from a little girl and also from an old guy. Okay, it's 11.39. Gonna go ahead and start up the camera down. Okay, Dear sir. Yeah, yeah. So 11.39, we're starting up the camera downstairs. We're going to go ahead and double check something. Go for it. Yeah, go for it. Okay, let's go up and get the 8mm on. Is that, is that there's a... 11.41. Upstairs camera is recording. Probably. Grace would want us to. Grace would want us to. Do what? It's 11.45 p.m. Some people don't buy that, but... Start the investigation. The little print. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop the investigation. I'm just here to let you know this important paranormal tip. That you're investigating the moment you step foot on the premises. That means you're investigating right when you get there. You should have some type of recorder going be the audio recorder or some type of camcorder or something in case you catch evidence before the investigation officially begins. Before our investigation began, we had many paranormal events happen, such as this. While filming Becky's interview, I kept hearing a subsonic booming sound while we were filming outside. Only I heard this. It was happening so frequently and with so much intensity that I thought I was coming down with exploding head syndrome. It was that bad. That's what it feels like to me. Are you hearing things right now? Like, because I'm feeling, or I'm hearing like a pulse kind of going through my ears now. So I was like looking at the kid, like, was that you? No. So I, I was like, I'm here, does that go? <laughs> huh? No. So I, I was just hearing that. So it was just like. I didn't hear it. So Interesting. I'm, I'm hearing something kind of <laughs> weird going on there. Maybe so it's I can't. Uh, hey, Rich, come on in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it only happened when we were outside though. When we went inside to film some B roll, it stopped. I didn't hear it. But when I'd go back outside to get new gear or switch my camera gear around, I would hear it again. And I haven't had this experience since then. When we started the investigation later that evening, I didn't hear it during that time at all. I brought my daughter with me when we filmed Becky's interview along with the B-roll footage that we filmed earlier that day. She and I were spending the day together and I wanted to bring her along on an investigation so she can see what I do. Also, she likes to watch the paranormal TV shows here with me, so I thought this would be a great learning experience for her. While she was there with us, I gave her an audio recorder so she can carry it around and do a little investigation on her own. Here are some of the EVPs that she caught. The first one sounds like a response to a question of, is there anybody there who wants to talk to me? It sounds like it says, please. Hello? Is there anybody here that wants to talk to me? I'm too, ca I'm too scared to go in, so does anybody want to talk to me out? Hello? Is there anybody here that wants to talk to me? I'm too, ca I'm too scared to go in, so does anybody want to talk to me out? Hello? Is there anybody here that wants to talk to me? I'm too ki I'm too scared to go in. So does anybody want to talk to me out? The second EVP sounds like a vocalization as she says that she doesn't want to go downstairs. 
I just really do not want to go. I just have a big. F I just really do not want to go. I just have a big. F I just really do not want to go. I just have a big. F the third EVP happens right after we hear something fall over in the background. Right after you hear the booming sound, you'll hear a whispery EVP. Because I if do not want to go to like a creepy place. Because there's no footage step up there. It's the props are all downstairs. Oh gosh, I just heard something like a big boom, like a big boom. Because I do not want to go to like a creepy place. Because there's no hooded stuff up there, it's the, the props are all downstairs. Oh gosh, I just heard something like a big boom, like a Because I do not want to go to like a creepy place. Because there's no hooded stuff up there, it's the, the props are all downstairs. Oh gosh, I just heard something like a big boom. Like a big Remember when Anna and Corey previously said that they recorded the raspy male EVP voice? We have, in our own investigations, have had the voices of a raspy, kind of older, I'm guessing, late 60s, early 70s man. We had uh, voices from a little girl and also from an old guy. This one on the end. Right here. Mm -hmm. Steer, any place that has nothing. Mm -hmm. This one on the end. Right here. Steer, any place that has nothing. Mm -hmm. This one on the end. Right here. Mm -hmm. Later in the evening, when I came back to film the interviews with Angela, Anna, and Corey, I spent some time filming B roll. You can never have too much B roll. Seriously, you can't. But walking down the hallway filming B-roll, I entered an area that had fishing line hanging from the ceiling. So as you walk through it doing the uh, haunted house, you would get this feeling of stuff being pulled and dragged through your hair. As I was walking through that hallway, I made a break to a side room to film in there. As I, in that room, I start looking around filming up because I continue to feel the fishing wires, like things like fingers running through my hair. But as you can see, as I spin around in this room, there's nothing there. There's nothing hanging from this ceiling in this room to cause that. Could it be a spirit trying to make contact with me? Possibly. Finally, as I continued to film B-roll before the investigation that evening, I was filming in the cave room. As I was in there, I walked through the plastic hanging curtains to go to the side hallway. As I did that, I heard a whispery sound coming from my left. Did you ever watch Lost? The, you know, the TV show? Remember the others when they were in the forest, when they would whisper and get that type of a sound? That's what I heard. Now, did you hear whispering here? Did you hear whispering here? Oh, in here? When I came in through here. No, I did Because when I came through here, I heard like, stuff like that. Was the recorder going? No. Okay. Unfortunately, the camera I was using didn't catch that. But when I go back to that area later in the investigation, I do capture that whispery EVP. Now back to the investigation. <laughs> so what are we doing here? We're doing the, the, we the, do the prayer. The, the safety prayer. prayer. The prayer ritual. Give me your, I have to touch Dear first. Heavenly oh. Father, bless each and every one of us here. Um, anybody, any spirit that's here, you can speak to us, you can talk to us, you can touch us, but you cannot leave with us. We ask that you stay here and uh, do we, any other thing that you would like us to do to let us, let us know that you're here, but you cannot come home with us. And uh, let's have a wonderful hunt. Amen. 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 It's best. Please. 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 That's, that's <laughs> not as good as Grace. Grace Please. has it down. That's all right. Grace, Grace does. Kika did a good one when we were here last. Yeah. <laughs> but at 1145 and 1146, the stationary camera downstairs caught these two orbs.
or as I like to call them, DOBs, an abbreviation of D-O-B for dust or bugs. Dust or bugs really have a tendency to reflect IR light back into the camera, causing mysterious glowing objects and things as they zip around in front of the camera. You've got to be careful of things like this. Again, as I spot these things, I will point them out as daubs, dust or bugs. It was around this time that Corey caught this EVP. <laughs> All right, so where are we going to start at? Basement? Yeah, that's at the basement. basement? The, uh, the push it room. So we go to the creepy room? The creeper. Yeah. The Texas, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Massacre. Yeah, that's that's from the last so time. Cool. <laughs> I don't understand how it works in every day. Then. I don't know. I have the worst luck with those. I just keep going through oh, this door. Yeah, go and pop that light off there. Okay, this is the setup here. Okay, is there a little girl named Danny here? Something said, push it. Flashlight's on. Oh, we're we doing the flashlight thing? <laughs> no, let's just go on. The light test. I'm not a big fan of the light test. A spirit is supposed to manipulate a flashlight by turning it off and on to answer questions that you're asking it. For example, turning the flashlight on would represent a yes, light turns off to answer no. But in order for this to work, you need to physically manipulate the flashlight in order for it to do that. Because of this, I don't find this a reliable way to find out if a ghost is trying to communicate with you. But something happens during the investigation in a little bit that still leaves me puzzled. Okay, there's a couple flashlights there on the shelf. And a meter. Okay, and a couple meters. And there's a recorder. Recorder. Oh, oh. hey, you got a light coming on. You, oh. Now you didn't even ask me to turn the thing on yet. So can you turn it off if you think you're cool? <laughs> Sorry, that, that was, was me. And kick a can. <laughs> or maybe light up those lights. What is those called? Yeah, it's flickering. Danny, please turn the light off. Great. Did you hear that yeah, cat? Yeah, the cat. Was that the cat? Yes. Yeah. All the way off. How do we hear it? Clear down here. Because the window. there might be a hole somewhere. The, if you see, the thing about this is that it's kind of just slowly peering yeah. out, so... You're not convincing me. <laughs> Come on, just you know, just like on those TV shows, off and on, bang, like that. Can you do that? Can you see that one light before? That one, that one's that's the hard one to turn on. No, I mean the light. No, I turn on. I think you have to. You have to let go of it. Playing with it. Okay, how about roll it? If you can turn it off and on with your electrical power or whatever, can you roll the light? That would really convince me that you exist if you roll the light instead of turn it off and on. Roll it. Or throw it at one of us. At Corey. Corey. That would be cool. Right in the noggin. <laughs> Here too. I know you remember. 
remember us. If you touch that device, it has the zero zero on it and the 63.7 degrees. This thing right here. Me? If, no. If, oh. you, if you touch that, it'll light up and the numbers will get larger. If it does that, that is picking up your electrical energy. At 11.55, the light grid outside the door to the room we were in starts to pulsate. There's a popping sound. Then the grid light stops pulsating and goes back to normal. You want to bang on something? Hard? Preferably Corey. <laughs> You got the uh, I'm used to. You got the pin cushion here, so you can go touch him. Here's the part that leaves me puzzled. Yeah, I came out last year and filmed some stuff here. I think I maybe caught you talking. If you can do the same thing, that would be awesome. Oh, that was <laughs> that right. <laughs> now that was the other light. Okay, cool. That's the one that's closest to... As you can see, the light turns on. No big deal, right? Well, here's what happened out by the door to the room we're in when the flashlight turned on. As you can see, the grid light turns on brighter. It does this right when the flashlight comes on. Here are the two shots put together to synchronize what was going on at the same time. Same thing, that would be awesome. Oh, that was, <laughs> that was right. right. <laughs> now that was the other light. Oh, okay, cool. That's the one that's closest to. Oh, I have no idea what happened or how these two were able to sync up and pulsing come on like that still leaves me puzzled I've got a question was that you whispering upstairs that I heard when I was leaving the uh, room with the, the cracked floor was that you whispering there or how about you making those weird sounds outside that felt like I was the only one hearing or the fact that I was having that feeling of stuff in my hair in that one room. Is that you? You messing with me? Okay, I'm going to do a reset here. Let me just make it so it doesn't like slow. It's 12.08. Wow. Boom, boom. It's 12 I know. <laughs> p.m. I'm sorry, 12.08 a.m. My bad. Doing a reset here. June 22nd. Oh, yeah. 12.08. Mm -hmm. uh, what? Okay. Oh, it's already 12? Yeah. Holy crap. I didn't know we were starting 12. Well, we started at a little bit. Oh, whoa, I'm, I'm spiking all over the place here. Yeah. 
Victoria, do you want to do one here? Well, I don't know if it's just from Electrical. whatever in a wall. Oh, it'll spike if it's powered. Okay, yeah, I'm getting hits here. In there, we've had a lot. But she's not getting in with hers, and neither am I on mine. I don't have anything that will affect it, so. Well, this is really cool. It's remedial. Oh, there's like a disco. Hey, this is all of us again, down still in the basement in the bigger room. And you got, like, paw prints on your, uh, here. Oh, that's raccoonie. Check it out. That's definitely raccoonie. So, so we still have animal issues going. Uh-oh. Now those are toes. Is there anybody down here? You can speak. Is there a recorder touch? Yeah, you can touch your toe. Yeah, that's the one. Can you hear it? Oh, yeah. Is that the one you were talking about? Yeah. He's like, what the heck have I got myself signed up for? There's some little green lights on the walls and everywhere. You can walk in front of those just for fun. They're with nice cases and everything, and they just have bad luck with them. Okay. So I'm going to have to get angry. <laughs> the mean Asian lady? <laughs> angry. We don't want that. This is why she doesn't start telling me. As you can hear, there's a laugh in the background from a female. It's not Becky, it's not Anna, and it's not Angela. Who could it be from? Could it be from a spirit there? Let's listen to it again. We don't want that. This is why she doesn't start telling Asian jokes. Don't know any Asian jokes. I don't really know any Asian jokes. We don't want that. This is why she doesn't start telling Asian jokes. I don't really know any Asian jokes. I'm we don't want that. This is why she doesn't start telling Asian jokes for good. Don't know any Asian jokes. <laughs> I don't really know any Asian jokes. I'm we don't want that. This is why she doesn't start telling Asian jokes for good. Don't know any Asian jokes. <laughs> I don't really know any Asian jokes. I'm we don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know any Asian jokes. I we don't want that. This is why she doesn't start telling Asian jokes for good. Don't know any Asian jokes. <laughs> I don't really know any Asian jokes. I've got something here. Is there something here? No, there was something messing with my hair right here. I'm filming around for spider webs, anything that's hanging down, but it felt like something like. like because there's webs here. There's a web right beside. Right here. Yeah, oh, probably, there's something probably, right okay, there. Okay, yeah, it's a spider web. I just okay. felt it. Okay. Debunked. 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 It's a little more powerful. At 12.25, the mill meter on the table starts to make a noise. This is the noise the mill meter makes when you press the power button to turn it off. But as you can see, there's nobody holding the power button to turn it off. Is it a fire alarm? It's not like it's over there. It's coming from over here. It's not one of these because there's nothing flashing on it. And I put my ear up. This just happened mysteriously all on its own. Does that make noise? This her. Yeah, that, those don't make noise. That was a loud beat. What, yeah. I and if it would be that thing. No. Because it's the same type of sound. Yeah, but I turned it off. It wasn't you. I checked my recorder and it's all fine. So. You heard it, right? Yeah, I heard it too. 
I thought it was over there. I thought it was over there. Yeah, it sounded off. like it was coming from the house. I started realizing that there was a bright light. You guys have something? Is there a The only thing that, would make, that makes that noise would be. That's what it's it's the. Right, but mine is off. I mean, yeah, but that was a constant. Yeah. yeah. It would beep. Yeah, but that would be a constant. No, it was beep. It was I know. Constant. Okay, you, yeah. you, you just turned it off. Like, yeah, yeah the light's green on this. I didn't want it to be this close. I mean, that's what that sounds Because that's the sound. I'm turning it off now, and it's yeah. making that sound as I'm holding the button. Doesn't it sound like that's what it sounded like. Exactly. Area, it, it didn't, to me, it didn't sound like it because I was but right I around over here. Over that direction. See, yeah. yeah, it sounded like it was coming over this direction, and when we came over here and it did it for a short period, it sounded more over here. Yeah. And it I'm turning it on. Because but there was, there was, was yeah, but he, that was when he powered it off and he didn't. Yeah, and I, and I had to hold my finger on the button there that long to make it sound like that, to make it, you know, to yeah, keep it going. At it. This leaves us baffled as to why it's doing that. Okay, how about we move shop upstairs to the, uh, the place where I was, where I was getting touched in the hallway. We can do that one or where we heard. Where, where I was hearing the whispering yeah. up in the, the one cave room. So let's motivate. Is there, if we got stuff here, cool, thank you. If not, <laughs> well, we'll go to maybe a location where you're hanging out. Leave this here. Oh, no, no, okay. Okay. I didn't know. Sorry, that was, yeah. that was weird. Yeah, because yeah, it's not this. Yes. It was off. Board. Yeah. That was great. Cool. All right. Have you on it? What's that? The green and white. Um, I'm going to leave that down oh, here. Oh, here goes. Yeah. Yeah. Thing. Oh, thing in the doorway right there, so okay. let's be careful not to kick the tripod. He's got one of the legs. I don't know where you are getting, where you heard voices. No. Oh, oh that was the, uh, it was the, uh, the cave room downstairs. Oh, I uh, thought we were talking about coming up here. Oops. Oh, that's no. not weird. Yes, yeah, she oh. better sing. I'm always the one who has to sing. Because you're a guy and we can tell the differential of voices. True. So is this a song that she's sung back to? Yeah. This she's, is a song she sung she, with um, She started uh, chiming in at when we said Ashes, Ashes. So, I know you enjoy this song. Ring around the rosy, pocket full of posy, ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Nothing quite like the song of the black death, the black plague, to, <laughs> to lift our spirits and make us all happy. Yeah. <laughs> I miss the old. Go and start yeah, saying about see. the blue There's dress. At 12.33, I catch an EVP with a raspy voice of somebody repeating on and off as I'm talking about turning my camcorder off and back on. And, uh, on. Go and start yeah, saying about see. the blue There's dress. Okay, all right. Off and go. on. And, uh, on. Go and start yeah, saying see. about the blue There's dress. Okay, all right. Off and go. on. And, uh, on. Go and start yeah, saying see. about the blue There's dress. Okay. All right. Oh, on. Yeah, I smell flowers. Did you get? Did you smell flowers? I just did. Yeah, because I smell flowers. I don't smell them anymore. Faint. Right when I stepped in, I smelled flowers. So you didn't smell flowers, or your nose is kind of funky. Yeah, I got the funky nose. Yeah, because I it, well, come, come in here. Supply supply room over there. Angela, is there? But I don't know exactly if that's come in here and see if you smell. So, because I don't know. Whoops, I'm sorry. Oops. I don't know if it looks like from like the flowers there. It looks like they're fake flowers, right? Oops. Yeah, Those are fake flowers. The last time I was... No, I smelled it really strong right there. In here. Yeah, because I smelled it here. You I smelled it in. here, and I smelled it there. And so, Becky, what drew your, atten drew your attention here? I, it hurt, it hurt like a click or a... Oh, wait, I smell it again. But I heard it a couple of times. Do you want to go smell that one room and see it if just was compare a it? <laughs> No, I'm serious. I mean, it's like, it's got a little bit of a sweet smell. Oh, you guys still
still getting in? You got like some phantom smells going on? I think it's cinnamon with the flower. It's, it's like kind of like a cinnamon pure smell. It's cinnamon in with flower. But it comes and it's, goes it's really brief. fast. You smelled it too, didn't you? A couple of times? I did right could, here. Now, could that be stuff from outside? No. Like flowers or the, the plants outside? No, oh, it has it's a the cinnamon. whole house would smell like it. it. Would have a, this one has a distinct cinnamon it's smell. It's got a cinnamon. It smells mm -hmm. like a spice. Yeah, it smells the linger. As we continue to discuss our experiences with the phantom smells, we catch this shrieking EVP. Like you said that you're smelling it. Yeah, I, I, well, I, I smell it. I didn't smell it. I but smelled now I'm it. smelling it, but you're not smelling it. So I can't it's... smell it. What is this? Let's play it again. Yeah, I smell it. I smell it. But now I'm smelling it, but you're not smelling it. I can't smell it. What is this? Yeah, well, I smell it. I didn't smell it. I smell it. smelling it, but you're not smelling it. I can't smell it. What is this? <laughs> yeah, I, well, I, I smell it. I didn't smell it. I but smell now it. I'm smelling it, but you're not smelling it. So I can't it's... smell it. What is this? <laughs> I smell it. I smell it. I smell it. But you're not smelling it. I can't smell it. What is this? I smell it. I smell it. I smell it. But you're not smelling it. I can't smell it. What is this? I smell it. I smell it. I smell it. But you're not smelling it. I can't smell it. What is this? Yeah, I, I know well, it's around, but I didn't it. smell it. I but now I'm it. smelling it, but you're not smelling it. So I can't smell it. What is this? <laughs> is, is, yeah, I, I know well, it's around, but I didn't it. smell it. I but now I'm it. smelling it, but you're not smelling it. So I can't it. smell it. What is this? <laughs> is, yeah, I, I know it's well, around, but I didn't it. smell it. I but now I'm it. smelling it, but you're not smelling it. So I can't smell it. What is this? Let's go down and... Ballet. To the one... This is ballet. Cave room. You don't... This stuff. Okay, so I was walking along down to here. Remember earlier when I was talking about the whispering that I heard when I was filming the B-roll when I entered this hallway? As you will hear in a second, I do capture the whispering EVPs. The whispering when I came through here. I heard the whispering when I came through here. the whispering when I came through here. I heard the whispering when I came through here. I heard the whispering when I came through here. I heard the whispering when I came through here. I heard the whispering when I came through here. Oh, what? Not not Corey? Okay, Corey, so you guys have got the mail. Yay, let's freak out the guys. As Anna speaks, we catch an EVP of a spirit breathing and then making a moaning sound. And then later we catch an EVP of a spirit saying flower. Somebody, some man touched her on the shoulder and whisper, but she couldn't understand. Could you possibly be here today? And could maybe touch one of us on the shoulder and whisper to us or whisper into one of the recorder boxes? That was me scratching my nose. Somebody, some man touched her on the shoulder and whispered, but she couldn't understand. Could you possibly be here today and could maybe touch one of us on the shoulder and whisper to us or whisper into one of the recorder boxes? That was me scratching my nose.
Can you possibly be here today and could maybe catch one of us on the shoulder and whisper to us or whisper into one of the recorder boxes? At 12.48, we catch an EVP of a spirit saying, Try me. Is it trying to challenge us to something? And like talking dirty. Well, that's what I thought. Of. <laughs> that's that's why we were both coming along. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. <laughs> okay, okay. Good to see y'all. Yeah, good to see you. Oh, to the boss, to say hi. I will. Tell your daughter my it's daughter says hi. Oh, there you go. Wow, I get to be in front of the camera now. Oh, jeez. Um, after my sister died, I didn't go back up there. I had food there for a year. I got one. Did you right. said you'd be back in August? Yeah, I'll be back in August. I'm going to talk to Gary and see if he can maybe get like a new place. Okay. We've got a couple of leads. As much as I like this place, I'd like to. Yeah, some people. What part okay. of August are you coming back in? It's going to be over the hot August nights weekend, okay. so I want to film the hot August night stuff. Yeah. So, because it's going to be where if we do the investigation, like let's say Saturday night, Saturday night's when they do the drive around downtown. Get a hold of me. All right. Cool. Well, if you well, have to now. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm camera free. I'm camera free. <laughs> You're on the camera all the right. whole time. I'm going to the light, a... guys. Okay, so it is now just me, Corey, and Rich. Oh my God. Becky and Angela are leaving, so you might hear their voices faintly walking away from us. So now we can get it on. <laughs> like Donkey Kong. No, I'm, I'm, scared. Said that. I'm scared. <laughs> What's scary is I'm the face of that cutie or whatever that thing is. <laughs> Forget. As you know, I am not a big fan of orbs. But if you look in the bottom right, you'll see an orb or a daub there. And then as Anna pretends to swear and censor herself, you'll see these little glittery things kind of pop up all around her. Are those orbs? Are those daubs? I have no idea. Here's the glittery orb part in slow motion. Yeah. That was my stomach. Rich is hungry. <laughs> Fourth meal. That's wow. what I felt too. Yeah. Taco Bell, let's do it. Mm. Mm. Anna's favorite. I hate Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> well, Taco Time's not open. I had that already. Yum. Oh, yeah. I could go for a casita burrito. How about you? Have you had a casita burrito before? We've offered it food. Oh, really? Did they get any response or anything? No. Oh, Until come on. Bring pizza next time or something. As Anna talks about catching an EVP of a male spirit in this hallway, we actually catch an EVP of a male spirit vocalizing. All the lights down the hallway. And usually down here we catch a guy talking. Here. Yeah, because down it's here we catch a guy talking. Usually down here we catch a guy talking. Usually down here we catch. A guy talking. Usually down here we catch 
a guy talking. Usually down here we catch a guy talking. Usually down here we catch a guy talking. Yeah, because it, it was I was coming right through here and it, it this wiry stuff. It's like I felt this stuff in my hair. And then you okay? Because you jumped. No, I, I just, I didn't know how far it was. And then I stepped in there, and then I stepped in here, and then I was filming around like this, and I still felt that stuff in my hair here. And I was like, reach, and I'm like, are there cobwebs in here? And it's, it still felt, it's like residual. Who's your daddy? Oh I mean... <laughs> oh my god. That was good. That was fun. In the background, you will hear something fall over. He's wherever usually the little girl is. And if he's not with her, then he puts a stop to her communication after... Did you hear that? Yeah. yeah. I heard it behind... Me. What? It's behind me. Kind of. Oh, exactly. He's wherever usually the little girl is. And if he's not with her, then he puts a stop to her communication after. Did you hear that? Yeah. yeah. Kind of. He's wherever usually the little girl is. And if he's not with her, then he puts a stop to her communication after. Did you hear that? Yeah. yeah. Is that the only guy upstairs? He's wherever usually the little girl is, and if he's not with her, then he puts a stop to her communication after. Did you hear that? Yeah. yeah. I heard it behind me. Is that the only guy upstairs? It's kind of. He's wherever usually the little girl is, and if he's not with her, then he puts a stop to her communication after. Did you hear that? Yeah. yeah. I heard it behind me. Is that the only guy upstairs? It's kind of. He's wherever usually the little girl is. And if he's not with her, then he puts a stop to her communication after. Did you hear that? Yeah. yeah. I heard it behind me. <laughs> or are you just raccoons making noises? Or making babies! Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't care, then leave it green. I don't care, but... Oh, I got like a moth flying around in here. A little... It's, it's buzzing around down towards you now, Anna. Okay, me. <laughs> like, yeah, it's, it's like, oh my god, it's an orb! It's an orb! Oh god. Oh god! <laughs> Look at that thing! It's all over the place! Well, that was awesome. Or as I like to call them, I like to call them Dobbs, Dust or Bugs. Oh, nice. I like that yeah, one. So that's, awesome. like, that's my term, and you can go ahead and use that. Behind you or something? Yeah. My recorder. Whoa, 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 whoa. Might have been. This sound. thing just went. Did you hear that? Yeah. It went. Well, I don't feel Can you do that way. again? Okay, I'm like breaking out in goosebumps and junk here. Really? I, yeah, I feel like I'm all my, like the nerves on the tube almost f***ed you. Oh, yeah. Do it! Sorry, I was trying to feel you, see if you were cold or not. No, it was just like, my ass only touched me! <laughs> Sorry. No, but it was, it was weird. It's just like, it felt like every nerve on my body just jumped and got sparked. Well, we're one. See, when Corey had his experiences right in the next one, wasn't it? Or was it no, it was right where he was. It's, it's right exactly here. Exactly right where he was. Exactly. You know, I'm standing right here where you had that. Yeah, exactly where he was. Because I've had like a couple of jumps on this thing where like the little bars at the top are just all ch 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 ch. What's that?
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn the uh, camera off, the portable camera, and the wireless mic off here. Go up and take down the uh, camera that's upstairs as well as the one that's downstairs. So let's go ahead and get those things off and let's get our gear packed up and put away. Okay, here we are. It is now. Let me just. It's two twelve. Time to go. I'm heading home now. Going to get some sleep. Probably won't be maybe a couple of days here until I can look through all the evidence and see what we got. We took off from uh, Nevo's here at about two fifteen a.m. Um, after getting all our stuff put away and everything. The evidence review is going to be the, uh, the tough part to do because I've got three cameras to go through as well as the uh, audio recorder. Hoping we have something good to show for our time spent there. Hoping we got some good evidence and things. So, off to the evidence review now. <sighs> but thanks for watching and see what we get. You can never have too much B-roll. Seriously, you can't.